Hello everybody, my name is Dodrix, welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's and today we're going to be trying to complete 420 mode. So I've done a bit of looking up and how to complete this and I think I know how, hopefully. It's going to take me a while to get these all to level 20 because you've got to individually click them all. Okay, there we go. 20, 20, 20, 20. Alright, let's start. I probably won't be talking as much. I'll probably just add like a voiceover or something. But, let's start. Night 7. Oh boy. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm using a camera. I'm using cam 4B to be able to keep Freddy in place while I can so while I do that I use the, the light to look check for Bonnie and when Cheeks is there it overlays her over Freddy so when she moves to the door I don't have to check the light I can just shut the door on her I am I do right I do check like other times just in case to be 100% sure that she isn't there and I'm not gonna fail but as you can see, Bonnie's just popped up, and now Chica has overlaid Freddy. So when she moves, like just now, you see she's gone to my door. It's a nice little trick that that you do to help beat this. And she's gone. So they go like really quick, which is really good because then you know they're not they're not taking up all your power. My mouse was a bit like it didn't want to move that well, but uh, I, you know I managed. So as you can see, they've disappeared again, and Foxy doesn't really, doesn't, Foxy's not active considering he's on 20, and you can see I've just shut the door because I know she's there. I don't have to check, and then she's gone. Now this is, it's probably not the best thing to do, but you know, it, it, it kind of helps. So as you can see, I'm just still camera blocking Freddy so he can't get into my office, because the old strategy, it was close the right door every time you go on the camera and I think it'd just be keep your eye on Foxy that's what killed most people and it took people like so long to complete 50, uh, 420 mode so Bonnie's just come and then after like three times I've flipped up the camera he disappears so yeah um, I can't remember who this who I found this strategy by but I'll link him in the description so you know, check out his video because he explains it better than I do. But it's only 1 a.m. at the moment, and I'm just I'm just doing the whole th same thing this whole time. And you can see that I'm flipping up the camera as quick as I can because I'm just grabbing like the tiny bits of information of like just seeing Freddy's eyes, and then I can just determine whether he's there or Chica's there, like that. So I'm just. At this point, I'm sort of just make sure oh, she's there. Now she's moved. Then I can close the door. And then I can see Bonnie's there. And then she's gone. And Bo Bonnie likes to stick around for just a bit longer. Oh, so I wasn't able to do a hon honk of good luck because I was sort of had to get straight into it. Also, listening. Listening was a very big part of this because I couldn't check all the lights at the same time. So I had to listen for when they've moved. Sound cues really help in this game. Because now you could hear that cheek was in the kitchen. So I didn't really have to check any of the other lights. And then Bonnie's there. And close him off. And he's gone. Foxy wasn't very active at this this part. This this night he's not very active, which is weird because he can uh, phone guys are always saying you should check on him. Oh God's sake! <laughs> oh, there's our first death. God damn it! Screw you, Bonnie. That's okay. It's okay because it's only been like the first like f two minutes, maybe. 
But you, you see what I'm doing? It's camera stolen. Alright, we'll go again. Alright, back again after the first death. And I waited a little bit longer to start this because it, it saved a little bit, like saving like three percent of power. It did help, and my cheek has already moved to the door. And Bonnie's already there. I almost, almost forgot about him because he just popped up as soon as I went to turn to the right. Same thing as last time as well, flipped up the camera, I was actually flipping up the camera quicker than I was before. And then obviously that was a bit of a, a bit of a problem because sometimes when I'd lift the camera up you'd see they'd move and that's why I'd, use, that's why I'd check them, that, that door because I'm like oh what if Chica's just gone there. But it did sort of help a bit more with pow on power wise because the quicker you flip it up, the less usage you're using. Like last time, like the last thing I said, it's always looking for the Freddy's either Freddy's eyes or looking at like for Chica. As you can see, sometimes I do flip it up a bit too fast, and I can't actually see anything. But it's always the the white dots on Freddy's eyes that you can you can see them. Again. At this point, I'm starting to check the light a bit more because I was getting a bit worried about power. Yet again, you could hear the goblin from the left, which is Bonnie, because Chica's not in, in camp 4B. And then he appears straight away, and then I can sort of just use that, use the sound cues as a way to help. So technically, I didn't really need to keep flashing the lights, I just did it because that's what the person I watched said to do. And then Chica's at the side again, and then she's moved. And then Bonnie's there. Already we're doing we're doing better than we did last time. I think we're cl we're nearer to 3 a.m. soon. Should uh, take over soon. There's not much to commentate on about this. It's sort of just repeating the same method until well you reach 6 a.m. really.
this was the bit where I really started to panic. 5 a.m. was really like I was starting to because I was checking the time as well as how much power I had left. So I was really starting to worry if I was going to do this or not. And you can see that I was starting to shut doors when I didn't need to. And I was getting really paranoid about where Chica was, so I kept checking the right door as well as the left. And I think in a second, I could have died. That, right there, could have died. And then, Foxy came, which I had no idea, and I... I was, that was the luckiest thing that I've ever had happen. Not only did I not die by opening my camera when Bonnie was there, Foxy almost killed me as well. But I'm going to let this uh, play itself now. Oh my god. Oh no, come on please. 5am, 6am even, please, come on. Oh my god! Two tries, two tries. Oh my god. I've never been shaken so much in my life. Oh my god, that took so much concentration. I don't know why Chica kept, she kept leaving. Oh, three stars, look at that, that is beautiful. Chica was in the corner and then she didn't appear at the door, which is why I kept checking back and forth. Oh my, Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's the first time I've ever done uh, 420 mode. And it, if this recording has screwed up, I am going to be so, so sad. Jesus. I can't really speak. Oh, I'm so happy. But, there's one final thing that I want to do before we finish this uh, this game. And I'm sure most of you know what it is. But, because we haven't got Golden Freddy once, I thought it would be just nice before we go to just have a little... You know, to see him for a, for a bit. One, nine, eight, seven, and that's it. I thought that's all I wanted to do. But Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh, I'm still shaking. But thank you for watching. This has been Five Nights at Freddy's. We're doing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 next, so stick around if you want to see that. We're doing all the games apart from AR because I, my phone's not good. <laughs> but we're moving on to FNAF 2 next. Some more mayhem. And yeah, oh, I need a drink. <laughs> thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you want. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.